I'm Thankful, Part 2, Introduction. So we've looked at the benefits, but practically speaking, how do we begin to make thankfulness a part of our everyday lives to such an extent that thankfulness is simply a habit that works all the time in the background for our benefit? It's important that you find a way that works for you, but I suggest to begin with that you dedicate just five minutes of your day to thankfulness. For me, thankfulness starts first thing in the morning. It's a part of my morning routine and I want to strongly suggest that you make it a part of yours too. And if that means getting up slightly earlier, I want to encourage you that these few minutes will be time well spent and over the coming weeks will become a transforming habit that you really won't want to be without. In the printable workbook you have three pointers to help you with the I'm thankful habit but I also encourage you to develop your own thankfulness list at least to begin with. Once it becomes a part of your life you won't need to look at a list to remind yourself what to be thankful for. So this may start off as an exercise in appreciating the things that you take for granted but if you practice this and make it a part of your life, you're going to begin to find that you really are able to see over those obstacles that you face. You really are more confident about the future and you really are able to see solutions when before you could only see problems. It's also important to understand that being thankful can save us from falling into that trap of thinking that to be happy in life, you need to acquire more things or make a certain amount of money or achieve success by someone else's standards. Just imagine what life could be like, how different your days could be if you no longer feel that you need to meet someone else's expectations of you or hit a target put in place by someone else who's already made it. We all know that deep down inside, Nice things don't make us happy. They're simply nice things. At the end of the day, it will be the people in your life, the connections and the conversations and the experiences that paint the picture that is your life. So let's begin to look at practical ways of developing this habit of thankfulness. You don't have to look far to find things to be thankful for, but so often we don't give even a thought to what an amazing life we have. For a start, I'm alive. That means I can think for myself, I can reason, I'm self-aware, I have all these feelings and emotions inside, I can create I can build, I can learn. And let's take a look around. I'm standing on a ball of rock that's spinning at a thousand miles an hour whilst at the same time hurtling through space at a speed of around 67,000 miles per hour on its year-long orbit around the sun. Now there's plenty to be thankful for there. The air I breathe, the water I drink, the food I eat. All these things are amazing in their own right and I don't even think about it most of the time. I rarely get sick but I recently came down with a bout of flu. That left me physically drained for almost two weeks. It was really debilitating. I couldn't concentrate, I couldn't work but it also left me appreciating my health and not taking it for granted. There are a million things that make up my life that I don't even notice. But take them away and things are quite different. Imagine for a moment that you're a thousand miles from home in a small sparse hotel far from anywhere. You've no money, no credit card, no means of leaving. The TV doesn't work and the battery has just died on your phone. From the window all you can see is snow and ice. You are stranded and you know it's going to be at least a few days before the weather improves 
and you can get a ride out of here in the direction of home. Put yourself in that situation. You have two days of sitting around and waiting. Ask yourself, what would I miss the most? What would I want to have with me? What about the people in your life? I've been married for over 21 years. My wife and I have three wonderful, intelligent kids. Each of them is a gift. Each of them is a priceless treasure. I don't want to have to be reminded how important they are to me. But around five years ago, my eldest son developed appendicitis and the operation was problematic. It took a long time for him to recover. I remind myself regularly not to take my kids or my wife for granted. Friends are another treasure. There's something magical about the relaxed flow of conversation without pretense, without having to prove anything or win an argument. Having someone to talk to who is just happy to listen and not judge and tell you what you need to hear. That's a rare thing. And with our busy, disconnected lives, we don't often have many friends who we can truly be ourselves with. If you do, count them as a blessing. Our circumstances. Do you ever give much thought to the times that you live in? The country that you live in with all its political freedoms and personal opportunities? There has never been a time like it in history. We can express our opinions like never before, without fear. We can learn what we like, go where we please, eat what we want, and spend our free time in a myriad of ways never imagined 50 years ago. Think about what life would be like without the internet. We live in an age of no excuses. If there's something you want to tell the world about, if you're passionate about something, you can go and tell the world. If there's something you're keen to learn about, what's stopping you? It's there. It's available. If you want to create or do or be or make or build or write or change your part of the world, there's never been a better time. So don't take any of these amazing opportunities for granted. Write some of them down. They will help you to remember that you have so much already in your hands. If thankfulness or simply being grateful is a powerful life-changing habit all on its own. If ever you feel inclined to dwell on your problems, make excuses or wonder what the point of it all is, then start getting thankful. Thankfulness won't make our problems go away but it will put us in a position where we feel much more equipped to start making changes. When we begin to realise just how much we already have in our hands, it doesn't take long for that to start building up inside us and coming out in how we look at our life, how we approach our day and how we pursue our dreams. Practically speaking, make yourself a thankfulness list that you can keep adding to. Set aside five minutes at the start of your day to invest in yourself by looking through that list, finding something that jumps out at you and simply saying a thank you. Make it a prayer if that helps, but the very act of thankfulness lifts us up. Allow yourself to understand what these things on your list mean to you. Ask yourself questions to get that message home. What would my life be like without this? How has my life changed because of this person? How can I show my appreciation for all that I have in my hands?